because the mosaics were done over 20 years and they reference points of my life and things that happened. I'm Carrie Reichardt, I'm an artist from West London and this is my home, the treatment rooms. Well, this house is actually was the first house that my parents moved into before I was born with my brothers. So my father bought this house over 60 years ago. And in fact, I've lived in practically every room in this house when it was a bed sit. And slowly over the years, I kind of had more children myself and slowly occupied the house, both inside and outside. Actually, the first bit of mosaicing I did was in the garden because I was married to someone who did landscape gardening and they made a sunken, um, a sunken circle in the garden and, and I mosaiced that. So that was originally when I first got into mosaics. So I, as soon as I started to put the mosaics around the house, it was my intention to do all of it as a piece of like uncensored public art. And I used to joke, it'll probably take me 20 years. And then it did. <laughs> I think you have to appreciate that it was done over a 20 year period. And over that time period, I had at least three relationships and three children, you know. So I was married once and then I was with somebody else. So, you know, it, it goes over a long period of time. There was a period of time when I was with the father of my youngest two kids, who was a commercial artist, that afforded me the luxury of being a full-time artist, you know, a lady that lunch, I used to go to ceramic classes and just mosaic my house. But then that stopped and then I became a single parent. So it became quite fraught to try and finish my house when I was a single parent with three kids. So there was a time when I didn't even think it would ever get finished because it was just impossible. I was working all the time. But that's when I, I put the call out and all the international artists and all my friends from around the world came and we had this final completion of the top of the house behind me. And then when the scaffolding came down, then then it was just like amazing you know, it was it was like i hadn't seen sunlight come into my bedroom for four years it was just like wow no one had seen the front of the house it had all been covered up with uh you know with scaffolding so that was quite an amazing time so different sections of the house are all done at separate times the front of the round the front of the door was the first thing i ever did I did my Alice in Wonderland themed section here that actually has mandrakes long before Harry Potter. So I was in front of the curve there. This was all the tiki inspired section. I then started doing the back of the house because obviously that became very political because it was I was writing to people on death row and that's when I suppose it went from merely decorative work to something that meant something. But each section of the house was done at a separate time with, with groups of volunteers and people helping me. I always kind of saw this house a bit like waving a little flag for, for, for being different and being, you know, that's why it says I'm an artist, your rules don't apply. For me, this is like a little outpost of like true creativity that just celebrates the eccentric and celebrates being creative. You know, there's often a presumption uh, that people don't like this or people would hate me or where why didn't they stop me or why didn't the council or but in reality I think people actually quite like art they do you know they love art they love to see it you know they might not necessarily want to live next to it but <laughs> but people appreciate that they like to see something different they like to see art 